Well, good evening, everybody, from the good ship Pip Pip. Guess where we are today? We're in the shadow of the remarkable Palisades of Napa Valley, and we happen to be in Calistoga, or at least not in Calistoga, but just right on the outskirts. And uh, I don't know if you can see over there, but uh, swivel to right, the extraordinary Isley Vineyards, uh, uh, quite iconic, and uh, the Palisades in the background, and we're guests of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bobby Moy, and uh, we're going to make a couple of birthday uh, uh, drinks this evening of the adult nature. And first of all, we're, we're going to make a drink called the Palisades, which is sort of uh, basically a uh, mezcal margarita, but uh, we're going to call it the Palisades tonight, just because. Um, because I'm the captain, I can do whatever I want. Anyway, Bobby gave me some of this absolutely exquisite Bozal Mezcal. This is a Espadin Baril Mexicano. So we're going to add in, here we go, a couple of ounces of, my goodness, this is smoky and utterly fabulous. And we're going to add in some of this organic agave and... Uh, there we are, not too much. We want to uh, maintain that flavor of the uh, of the mezcal. Now, uh, we're gonna put in some fresh squeezed lime juice, about an ounce of that, that uh, Bobby poured for me, and then some lemon juice, all organic. Now, what are we going to do with this? We're going to shake the dickens out of this. There we go. Make it nice and cold. So. And I don't know if you can see it, but the spirit of Robert Mondavi is floating over those mountains right now. I can just tell. Plus also all those extraordinary uh, uh, other people that have lent their names to the wine industry. Andre Chelyshev being one of them. So let's see what this tastes like. The Palisades Margarita. My goodness. That is absolutely a spiffy beverage. I say pip pip to the Palisades Margarita. Mm. Now, I happen to be here because it's my good friend Dave Reed's birthday and um, we're going to make a drink called Over the Hill. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some white Bacardi, healthy amount of that because that's what we like to do. And then some gold, Bacardi rum, another good healthy amount of that. I think we probably have about three or four ounces in there and uh, this is gonna be delicious. And I know that Dave loves elderflower. So this is the uh, Fleur du Sureau, um elderflower from France. We're gonna put in about three quarters of an ounce of that. Then some Angostura orange bitters. There we are, some medley of a beverage and uh, I seem to have grown taller in the night. Look, the lights are hitting me. I love it. And then we're going to get some of this hard fresco, hibiscus, Jamaica. And it's from my friend, uh, Mr. Tom Garnett. And uh, so we're going to put that in there. Ooh. Then ice. Yes, of course. And we're going to just shake this up a little bit. There we go. Get all those lovely flavors in there. Make it nice and cold because it's damn blazing hot here in Napa today. I tell you. Let's see, let's. Ooh, nice pink color. I know this will match uh, Davy's shirt um, because he's sort of almost wearing pink. So, birthday boy. Yes. Do step up, sir. Wait, thank you. And pip, taste, pip, taste pip. the over the over the hill. Tell me what you think. Pip, pip, old man. Pip, pip. Is that? It's magnificent. 50 years old, look at him. He doesn't look a day over 49, I tell you. It's unbelievable. God bless you. So, from Calistoga in Napa Valley and the good ship Pip Pip. Pip Pip. pip. Cheers. Hmm. Happy birthday, old bean. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. I enjoy your beverage. Pip -pip. Well, it's our pleasure to have you. 